His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable to the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the occasion of the conclusion of the United Nations Climate Change Conference COP28, hosted by the UAE in Expo Dubai. His Majesty hailed the UAE's hosting of the conference and the remarkable organization, facilitations and arrangements it provided, as well as the global participation, which consolidates the UAE's leading status and its effective presence in the international arena. His Majesty commended the UAE's role under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed in managing the conference's negotiations and discussions, which contributed to that historic and global agreement, the UAE consensus, marking a new phase in international climate action to protect the planet for all humanity. His Majesty praised the summit's important result and the efforts of COP28 President and UAE Special Envoy for Climate Change, Dr. Sultan Ahmed al-Jabr, and all the Emirati cadres wishing the UAE and its people for their success in all fields under the leadership of His Highness the UAE President. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa held a telephone call with the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. His Majesty praised the distinguished organization and great success of the presidential elections, which witnessed wide interest and participation by the brotherly Egyptian people. His Majesty wished Egypt and its people further progress and prosperity. As Sisi congratulated Bahrain, its leadership and its people on the occasion of Bahrain National Day and wished the kingdom further progress and prosperity during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. His Majesty praised the historic bilateral relations and the cooperation in all fields that achieved the joint aspired goals. They also discussed the current situation in Gaza and highlighted the efforts that are underway to reach a ceasefire and allow humanitarian aid delivery. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited Al Fatah Highway Development Project to mark its official opening. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of strengthening infrastructure to accelerate the pace of development, improve the kingdom's economic and investment comp competitiveness, and provide opportunities for Bahraini citizens in line with the kingdom's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom's commitment to increasing the pace of its development projects to achieve the goals of the plans and programs targeting all sectors that benefit Bahraini citizens. He highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to developing high-quality infrastructure projects, which is an essential pillar of sustainable development and an economic growth. He affirmed that infrastructure work will continue to achieve the goals put in place for the various development projects. A key example is the development of the strategic streets network to ease traffic flow in support of citizens' aspirations and aligned with the Kingdom's development requirements. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of ensuring the sustainability of development across all sectors and continuing to implement strategic plans and development projects to achieve set goals. He commended the organizational efforts of the National Workforce at the Ministry of Works and various government entities that supervise the implementation of the project, affirming that perfection and excellence should always be an essential part of all government projects. His Royal Highness was briefed at Gdabiya Palace on Al Fatah Highway Development Project. The project aims to increase the highway's capacity by 61%. The Minister of Works, Ibrahim Al Hawaj, emphasized the Ministry's dedication to executing infrastructure projects and the strategic road plan. These initiatives play a crucial role in the development of the road network to facilitate traffic for both residents and visitors in the Kingdom. This supports the Kingdom's wider development goals led by His Majesty the King and supported by His Royal Highness. The Minister expressed his gratitude for the visit of His Royal Highness, which marked the official opening of the project. He noted that Al Fatah Highway is one of the government program's important strategic projects and that it will play a vital role in easing the traffic flow while increasing the highway's capacity. The Minister expressed pride in Team Bahrain's efforts to complete the highway ahead of schedule and the implementation of the police to open policy to open parts of the project in several phases as soon as they were completed.
Abdel Fattah Highway Development Project represents one of the important strategic projects of the government's program, and it works to meet the current and future development requirements of the Kingdom of Bahrain. It also contributes to the revitalization of economic sectors as it links Salman Port Interchange and the Northern Manama Bridge leading to Bahrain Bay. The project aims to increase the street's capacity to reach 140,000 vehicles per day. It represents one of the important strategic projects of the government and would provide infrastructure of high standards and quality that is compatible with the sustainable economic growth and meets the current and future needs of the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rasha bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and several senior officers and employees of the Ministry of Interior at the Bia Palace. The meeting took place on the occasion of Bahrain Police Day. His Royal Highness highlighted the advanced level of Bahrain's security system and its support for Bahrain's comprehensive development under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. His Royal Highness commended the efforts of all Ministry of Interior employees in performing their national duty efficiently to safeguard the kingdom and protect its citizens. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of safety and security to national development, noting that the kingdom's growth, prosperity and advancement at all levels are based on security and safety achieved through Ministry of Interior employees' dedicated efforts to responsibly perform their national duties. He recalled with pride the sacrifices made by the fallen servicemen to safeguard the kingdom's sovereignty and ensure its security. He expressed pride in the Ministry of Interior and its various agencies' development at the security and societal levels, as well as the Ministry's commitment to performing its honorable national duties and maintaining security and protecting freedoms. His Royal Highness noted his appreciation to all employees of the Ministry of Interior, led by General Sheikh Rasha bin Abdullah. He emphasized the importance of continuing to strengthen community security by implementing the latest security systems and best practices in the police field to protect the rights of all wishing the Ministry of Interior and all its employees continued success. For his part, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah expressed on behalf of all employees of the Ministry his pride in the unwavering support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness to the Ministry of Interior. He also expressed his gratitude for His Royal Highness's appreciation for the security personnel's efforts and determination to further progress and success. He thanked His Royal Highness for his continued interest in the Ministry's development projects in security, information technology and electronic services, which support the Kingdom's security and stability. He emphasized that the Ministry of Interior continues to develop and keep pace with the latest developments in all areas of security, including the shift to digital systems and enhancing cybersecurity, which supports the sustainable development goals. Attending the meeting were His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and several senior officials. The Kingdom of Bahrain celebrates Bahrain Police Day in light of the efforts made by the directorates of the Ministry of Interior to maintain the stability of the country and the security of its citizens and residents. The Bahrain police remains a source of pride throughout its history, which is a full, of sac full of sacrifices with the values of loyalty and belonging as a motivation to continue the path of achievements. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Babco Energies Group, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the board's meeting for the final quarter of 2023. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the address of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa during COP28, which included the launch of Blueprint Bahrain to achieve carbon neutrality, affirming that His Majesty's announcement forms the beginning of an advanced stage of the transformation and sustainability of the energy sector in Bahrain. During the meeting, the progress in achieving this year's goals was reviewed. His Highness hailed the efforts exerted to develop the energy sector in accordance with Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. He congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the people of Bahrain on the occasion of the Kingdom celebrations of its National Day and the anniversary of His Majesty's accession to the throne, wishing His Majesty abundant health and happiness. His Highness expressed appreciation for the achievements made this year, which included launching the sustainability-linked finance framework as the first national energy group to adopt it globally, as well as the partnership with leading institutions in the region to develop, manage, and build a national portfolio of energy companies. He also hailed transforming Bobco Energy's group operations into world-class government processes and the completion of the first evaluation of environmental and social impact of Bahrain Field.
the special representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, on Bahrain Police Day. His Highness expressed his appreciation for the great role of the Ministry of Interior and its affiliates in serving Bahrain and preserving its security and stability, supporting its gains and enhancing its comprehensive development process under the leadership of His Majesty the King. He praised the efforts of the Interior Ministry Interior Minister as the Ministry is witnessing continuous development in all its agencies and all levels. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak extended his congratulations to the Ministry's affiliates who provide an honorable model of sacrifice, loyalty and carry out all tasks efficiently and preparedly. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Lim congratulated His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, on Bahrain Police Day. The Speaker affirmed that Bahraini Police Day is a national occasion to express appreciation for the efforts of Bahrain's police, their achievements, high readiness, and civilized methodology. Lim Salam praised the Bahrain Police and the Ministry of Interior for their efforts to maintain security and fulfill their national duties, recounting the noble sacrifices of the fallen servicemen and defending the nation and its stability. The Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, congratulated His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on Bahrain Police Day. The Chairman expressed to His Majesty the King his pride on this occasion and the historical significance it holds. Al Saleh praised the Bahraini Police and the Ministry of Interior for their dedication efforts to maintain security and fulfill their national duties, recounting the noble sacrifices of the fallen servicemen to defend the nation and its stability. The Interior Minister General Sheikh Rasha bin Abdullah Al Khalifa attended the celebration of the Interior Ministry to mark Bahrain Police Day, which is being held to recall the contributions and sincerity of police personnel. He was received by the Chief of Public Security, Lieutenant General Tariq Al Hassan, officials, and Interior Ministry officers. At the beginning of the ceremony, the interior minister's anthem was played. The interior minister then inspected the parade.
مجموعة العلم معتدين The faction participating in the parade performed a field demonstration of practical skills during which they demonstrated outstanding efficiency and discipline. Then the Minister of Interior delivered the following speech. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyih al-kareem Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Al-Hudur al-Kareem, assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yusharrifuni wa bibalid al-fakhri wa al-ahtizaz أن أرفع باسمي ونيابة عن كافة منسوبي وزارة الداخلية أسمى آيات التهاني والتبريكات إلى مقام سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المعظم القائد الأعلى للقوات المسلحة حفظه الله ورعاه وإلى صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله بمناسبة احتفالات مملكة البحرين بأعيادها الوطنية وذكرى تولي سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك المعظم حفظه الله ورعاه مقاليد الحكم ويسرني أن نجتمع في هذا اليوم المبارك من أيام الوطن الاحتفال بيوم شرطة البحرين وهي مناسبة وطنية نستذكر فيها ما تجاوزناه من ظروف أمنية استثنائية بفضل من الله سبحانه وتعالى وحكمة قيادة سيدي جلالة الملك المعظم حفظه الله ورعاه وإخلاص المخلصين من أبناء هذا الوطن الغالي وأخص بالشكر الجزيل في هذا المقام من ضحوا بأنفسهم في سبيل حفظ الأمن من رجال الأوفياء المصابين وإنني من هذا المكان وباسمكم أنقل لهم خالص شكرنا وتقديرنا جميعا ونترحم على أرواح شهدائنا الأبرار وما قدموه من تضحيات مؤكدا أن سيرتهم العطرة ستظل نبراسا مضيئا للأجيال القادمة أيها الإخوة إن الانتماء الوطني قيمة عظيمة يستوعبها الشرفاء ويجسدها الأوفياء وأنتم خير من يحافظ على هذه المسيرة الأمنية بما لديكم من علم وخبرة وما تتميزون به من عزيمة وولاء وإخلاص للتعامل مع التحديات الأمنية في المرحلة القادمة خصوصاً وإننا أمام مرحلة انتقالية من شرطة تغليدية إلى شرطة عصرية بإذن الله أساسها التطور الهائل الذي طرأ على تقنية المعلومات وهو ما يشكل محوراً رئيسياً 
في استراتيجيتنا الأمنية المستقبلية ومدى أنعكاس ذلك على أدائنا الأمني بشكل عام وسرعة ودقة وكفاءة الخدمات الأمنية التي تقدمها الوزارة ويبقى المرتكز الأمني الآخر هو حماية هويتنا الوطنية وعاداتنا الحميدة من خلال تفعيل مختلف مبادرات الخطة الوطنية لتعزيز الانتماء الوطني وترسيخ قيم المواطنة بحريننا بمشاركة المواطنين العزاء الحضور الكريم إن كلمتي في هذا اليوم المبارك إلى منسوبي شرطة البحرين في ميادين الحق والإنسانية على امتداد ربوع الوطن أنتم ركيزة حفظ النظام والسكينة والاستقرار وحماة الحق وسلامة الوطن والإنسان وأداة القانون بحزم وعدالة وإنسانية وشجاعة وإقدام فمسؤوليتكم جليلة ورسالتكم نبيلة فيعلو شأنكم من باب نزاهتكم ونبل إنسانيتكم ومواصلة جهودكم وتضحياتكم لينعم المجتمع البحريني بالأمن والاستقرار فوجب علي الشكر لكم بلسان الحال لأنكم مخلصون في حمل الأمانة وأمناء على ما أقسمتم وعاهدتم الله في أداء واجبكم الوطني ويجب أن تعرف أنكم محل ثقتي واعتزازي ومصدر تصميمي وعطائي فشكرا لكم جميعا أيها الإخوة الأعزاء ضباطا وشرطة ومدنيين وتأكدوا إنني فخور بكم وبتميزكم للحفاظ على مسيرة شرطة البحرين الخالدة كما ويسعدني أن أتقدم في هذه المناسبة إلى الخريجين للتهنئة مؤكدا إنه من حسن الطالع إنكم نلتم شرف الخدمة الأبية للملك وللوطن وإن أمامكم طريقا من العمل الجاد سائلا الله لكم بالتوفيق والنجاح والتهنئة موصولة إلى أهالي الخريجين في هذه المناسبة الطيبة كما عرب عن شكري وتقديري للأكاديمية الملكية للشرطة على الاهتمام والرعاية التي أحاطت بها الخريجين في مسيرتهم التعليمية والتدريبية حفظ الله البحرين وأدام عليها نعمة الأمن والأمان في ظل قيادة قائد الوطن وحامي قيمه الإنسانية وهويته العروبية المسلمة سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المعظم حفظه الله ورعاه ودمتم سالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أقسم بالله العظيم 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 أن أكون وفيا للبحرين أن أكون وفيا للبحرين أمينا على حقوقها أمينا على حقوقها مخلصا لمليكها المعظم مخلصا لمليكها المعظم مطيعا لجميع الأوامر الحقة التي تصدر إلي من رؤسائي التي تصدر إلي من رؤسائي محافظا على شرفي وسلاحي محافظا على شرفي وسلاحي مؤديا أعمال وظيفتي مؤديا أعمال وظيفتي بالصدق والأمانة بالصدق والأمانة محترما قوانين البلاد محترما قوانين البلاد وحقوق الناس وحقوق الناس والله على ما أقول شهيد
The celebration included the graduation of the 13th police cadets who obtained bachelor's degrees from the Royal Academy of Police in Law and Police Sciences out of the dedication of the Interior Ministry to move forward in enhancing the skills of its workforce and meeting security work development. The graduates took the oath and then the Minister of Interior honored the top graduates and handed over their certificates. He congratulated the graduates on successfully passing the graduation requirements on this occasion. He urged them to exert more efforts to serve the nation, expressing his thanks to their families for their keenness and encouragement. He also expressed appreciation for the role of the Royal Academy of Police in upgrading scientific and training programs to keep pace with the security changes and challenges. The minister wished everyone success. After that, a parade showcased her participants' competencies, discipline, and excellence.
And to speak more about that, we have with us over the phone Assigned Managing Director of Southern Hamad Town Police Station, Lieutenant Colonel Sultan Hussein Al Ghanim. Hello, Lieutenant Colonel. Can you tell us about the significance of marking this day to shed light on the accomplishments of Bahrain Police Day? Uh, yeah, uh, thank you for having me and good evening. Um, uh, allow me to start with um, congratulating uh, His Majesty, our beloved King, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and everyone who lives uh, in our beloved kingdom on the National Day and the anniversary of His Majesty King bin Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa accession to the throne, and of course, on Bahraini Police Day. Um, we are blessed, I see, um, that as a citizen uh, before being an officer, um, we are blessed with uh, safety, the most precious gifts of God to us. It is a day um, to appreciate this gift and to thank those who sacrifice to maintain it. Uh, partner partnering and relating with governmental and uh, social bodies and entities to achieve that objective, we are in the process of transferring from ordinary into modern policing. I can confidently say that the Ministry of Interior and the Kingdom of Bahrain provides a wide variety of services that you won't find um, other police forces providing all to ensure not only the safety, but the comfort of uh, people who live in the Kingdom of Bahrain um, under the lead of um, His Excellency, uh, the Minister of Interior, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. Uh, we are always uh, moving forward. Uh, the variety of services that the uh, Minister of Interior uh, provides are uh, exceptional. Um, you find that in um, civil uh, defense and, and coast guards, um, customs, immigration, uh, traffic departments, and police stations, um, the progress is always um, ongoing. Um, and um, we um, are very happy um, to celebrate uh, such a day. Um, it is uh, blessed days that we are having in Bahrain. Our sincere congratulations and well wishes goes to all of you on the occasion. Assigned Managing Director of Southern Hamad Town Police Station, Lieutenant Colonel Sultan Hussein Al Ghanim, thank you for joining us. The member of the Representatives Council, Hassan Ibrahim, Hassan also spoke about Bahrain Police Day and the importance of celebrating it. Our apologies for the technical difficulties. The citizenship curriculum is one of the most prominent academic subjects in Bahrain's education as it raises patriotism in students. The curriculum has been approved and applied to various educational stages in public and private schools. It enhances students' awareness of their rights and duties towards their country and society. The citizenship curriculum includes important terms and subjects to be taught, such as democracy, tolerance, dialogue, and peaceful coexistence. The Ministry of Information organized the National Days Festival in its third edition in the Heritage Village in Ras Hayyan. The festival includes various activities and programs for the public, with the participation of a number of government entities as main partners, in addition to private sector sponsors. The festival will open to the public starting today at 7.30 p.m. until 11 p.m. and the following days from 4 p.m. until 11 p.m. On the occasion of Bahrain's celebration of its national holidays and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, Bahrain's landmark streets and vital facilities in the various governorates of the kingdom were decorated. Decorative lighting in red and white covered every corner, and the main streets and squares were covered with Bahrain's flags, aesthetic lights, national phrases, and words of congratulations on the national holidays.
Bahrain's embassy in China held a reception on Bahrain National Day and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The reception was attended by senior officials from the Chinese Foreign Affairs Ministry and heads of diplomatic missions to China. Bahrain's ambassador to China, Mohammed Ghassan Sheikho, extended his congratulations to His Majesty the King and to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on this special occasion. The ambassador praised the historical ties between Bahrain and China, stressing that they reflect a real desire to develop cooperation to meet the aspirations of the two friendly countries. Marking Bahrain's National Day, the ambassador of Germany to Bahrain, Clemens Haag, highlighted the ongoing joint cooperation in various fields and wished Bahrain continued development and prosperity on the occasion. Congratulations to the Kingdom of Bahrain uh, on the 52nd National Day. Uh, congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Congratulations to His Royal Highness uh, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Uh, Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and congratulations to all the people uh, in the kingdom uh, for you know these 52 years of of uh, existence as an independent uh, state, um, led uh, in great prosperity and peace uh, by the royal family, and um, for us uh, as, as Germans, it is a um, great uh, privilege and honor and uh, pleasure to be a uh, friend with the Kingdom of Bahrain. We've had diplomatic relations for over 50 years now. Um, we have good train exchange and um, most of all we have uh, very good political uh, cooperation at different levels. Meanwhile, the ambassador of India to Bahrain, Vinod K. Jacob, noted the ongoing cooperation in various fields and wished Bahrain, its leadership and people, a happy National Day. It is my solemn honor to wish His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, uh, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince and Prime Minister of the Friendly Kingdom of Bahrain, the government of the Friendly Kingdom of Bahrain and the friendly people of Bahrain the very best on the occasion of the 52nd National Day of Bahrain. I hope and pray that they achieve all their national tasks in accordance with the objectives that they have set for themselves and they reach out to the future with a sense of confidence. I have been sent here with the responsibility to take the bilateral relations to the next level. It is already at a very good place. It was uh, manifest in the way in which my Prime Minister, uh, His Excellency, Narendra Modi was warmly received by the leadership in August 2019 and in the honor that it was bestowed on him in August 2019 during his state visit. Both sides had agreed at that point of time to maintain high level political exchanges, deepen trade and economic ties, uh, strengthen people to people exchanges and cultural relations, as well as science and technology, increase our cooperation, security and defense. The Chargé d'Affaires of the Japanese Embassy in Bahrain, Koji Naito, expressed good wishes for Bahrain marking the national holidays and stressed his country's pride in the growing advancement of joint cooperation. On behalf of the government and the people of Japan, I'd like to express my heartfelt congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad, His Royal Highness Prince Salman, and the people of Bahrain on its national day. Bahrain and Japan have maintained close and friendly relationship for more than half a century. And this is uh, both countries witnessed several remarkable achievements in enhancing the bilateral relations. The signing ceremony of the revised Bahrain-Japan Memorandum on Defense Cooperation and Exchange was held in November at the time of the Japanese Defense Ministry delegation's participation in Manama Dialogue. In addition, the Working Group on Trade and Investment was formulated to stimulate the bilateral trade and investment. To conclude, we'd like to reiterate our commitment to work closely with the government of Bahrain under the able leadership of His Majesty the King, as well as with all Bahraini people to assure a prosperous, secure, and a peaceful future for our countries and for the entire world.